So in this video I just want to show you uh, the three scenarios for a touch on an Ultrabook. Three usage scenarios. Uh, one good, one not so good and one uh, productive. Three scenarios. This is a video accompanies an article on ultrabooknews.com and just for a bit of background I've been using touchscreen devices since 2007 uh, and not only tablet PCs I actually had a touchscreen laptop for a year as well so I've had quite a bit of experience on uh, touchscreen and the laptop form factor uh, and that was back with Windows XP and um, resistive touchscreens. Anyway let's get on with the three scenarios I want to show you. Obviously the question comes up if you are using a keyboard and a mouse why would you then move to a touchscreen scenario when you've got full control down here? Well, it's a good question, but there are uh, some advantages. And in consumption mode, you might actually find that the touchscreen might be easier. This is scenario one, which I think um, the Metro user interface for Windows 8 has been designed around. And then as you can see, basically you get um, the ability to use the hands very in a very relaxed way on the right hand side and um, to um, have access to most things without really moving your hands away from the side. What you've also got are applications which are dedicated touch applications. So clearly these are not applications that are going to be very comfortable in terms of hand usage but they bring advantages in terms of you know, the application that can be used, the productivity, the speed and of course a paint application is one of them. You can't get away from the fact that actually uh, in a laptop some of these applications are quite uh, more usable than a tablet because you get two hands free rather than one in many cases. Um, let's go back then uh, to an, an application where you think you're in a comfortable mode but then you have to move your hands. MetroTweet is one of those. There's a four column application here, left hand side, right hand side, but then you've got this middle row here which you have to move your hand to and then you're at a situation where you were consuming in a very comfortable way, uh, but then you get uh, these middle sections here that require you to move. Now, designers will have to think about uh, that when they design their apps. You know, it's possible that a, um, a horizontally scrolling um, system might be easier because you'd access it from, from both sides. So that's a, um, an app that is both um, in a comfortable uh, usage scenario but also has some elements which aren't so comfortable and these are the applications that might um, struggle to get really big adoption on uh, touchscreen laptops. But there's another uh, s another um, segment of applications and scenarios that although may not be 100% comfortable or um, easy um, actually bring returns in terms of productivity. These are the apps and the scenarios that you've got to teach yourself, find out about and as someone has, has used this for a number of years, I um, want to show you a couple of demos here. So let's take a Cyberlink Power Director, which is my video editor of choice for Ultrabooks. It's well optimized for the Intel QuickSync video hardware that's inside these. Um, and I'll start up the Windows Live uh, Gallery as well. And um, let's just uh, show you how we can just sort of drag stuff around and bring it into uh, the applications and then very very easily I'm putting stuff on on the timeline uh, I can expand the timeline here oh, sorry, uh, magnify the timeline that's not a fantastically smooth magnifying experience it could be a lot better but then of course you can move stuff around and match it up fairly easier one thing you don't get with touch screens is hover and there are many many applications and many web sites that use hover to reveal features uh, without you pressing the mouse button. For example here if I hover over the end I can then press the mouse button and expand the section. It's actually very very diff difficult to do that in one go uh, with a finger. For a start you can't see where you're putting the finger uh, and then you only have one chance to hit the end. I got it right there but uh, in most cases it's not going to happen. So remember hover doesn't work with uh, touch screens at the moment. Uh, there are touch screens um, which uh, do detect um, hover with special pens but at the moment there are no uh, touch screens which actually detect hover by finger. That's something that maybe in the next years we can we can solve and um, that will bring another element 
of the normal desktop into finger touch uh, environments. Um, so then just a quick uh, recap there and as you can see I, I'm pretty used to using uh, Windows um, um, with touch and uh, Windows 7 has some nice features which do help that as well and um, as you can see as I've been using it for many years I'm pretty accurate with it but that's the three scenarios let's just go over those again you've got the very easy lazy consumption type scenario where you can um, um, do some pretty good stuff without moving your hands um, let's go back to another application here then you've got the dedicated touch apps um, which obviously needs your hands moving around all over the place so then you've got the applications um, and there was one of them actually doing the split screen. The applications which uh, do have some element of lazy, easy touch use, but also have elements that need you to move your hand away. Now these, these scenarios, when you're only expecting to do some quick touch stuff, can get a bit annoying when you have to start moving your hands around. Then you've got the apps where that sort of environment is worth doing because it brings benefits in terms of, uh, in terms of productivity. And that would be something like uh, video editing, as I showed you there, um, and uh, other stuff that is, you have to teach yourself, but it does bring benefits, speed and productivity as well. So I hope that gives you a few ideas about why you might want touch on an Ultrabook. Obviously you don't have to have touch on an Ultrabook, everything in Windows 8 and the applications, apart from maybe some games in Metro <laughs> uh, will uh, be uh, um, will allow you to use it to, uh, from the mouse, the keyboard, no problem um, but there will be times when having touch will be nice for you and uh, you'll start to enjoy it. I encourage you to uh, experiment and to, um, to think about to, bringing yourself, uh, testing yourself, testing new environments, testing new touch user interfaces, new methods, new ways of working and I promise you you'll find at least some methods and scenarios that bring you advantages, speed, advantages, productivity advantages and um, even some fun as well. So that's it, ultrabooknews.com is where we're testing out this ultrabook, it is a developer preview ultrabook, that means you can't buy this one. I can't give you details of what's inside it, as it's really only out there for uh, developers and demonstrations like I'm showing now. Ultrabooknews.com for more information on Ultrabooks in general, and we're tracking the, the Touch apps, the Touch Ultrabooks, and uh, all the products in our database over there, so check it out. Thanks for watching.